hold on. All right. Wait a second. Hi, I'm Kyle. And I'm Tori. We are actors and you can be an actor too. Our job as actors is to make the audience believe that we are characters in a story. Today, we're gonna to be practicing transforming into different characters without talking. How? By using our facial expressions and body language. We'll show you how with a game we call Statues. Statues is a simple game where the players freeze like a statue based on a prompt or idea that has been given. For this game, we will need a sculptor, the person who creates the statues by calling out the characters. I will be the sculptor, and Tori is going to be the statue. And you can play along as well. Just make sure you have plenty of space around you. To get started with statues, show that you are a superhero when I say go. Three, two, one, go! Oh, very nice. Miss Tori here has struck a super heroic pose because she is doing the classic up, up, and away pose that you often see characters like Superman in. Go ahead and relax back to neutral. Thank you so much. Now, when I say go, I want you to show me another statue, this time showing me a mouse. Go. Excellent. You see how Miss Tori shrunk her body down, so she looks like she's the size of a mouse. Very nice, and you also see here, she has her hands put up like they're her little mouse paws. Go ahead and reset back to neutral for me. Next, show me a T-Rex. Three, two, one, go. Oh, very good. This is kind of the opposite of the mouse. You see here that Tori has taken up a lot more space. And you can see by her facial expression that she looks like a T-Rex in the middle of a big roar. Very nice. Go ahead and relax. Thank you very much. Oh, Great job. Thank you. Now let's make it a little more interesting. We can create statues that show characters in action by creating moving statues. This time, we get to add a visitor to the game. The visitor will walk the statue garden, and we don't want them to know that the statues are alive. If they look at you, stay frozen. But when they look away, keep moving to show that your statue is alive. Let's try it. I will be the sculptor and the visitor. You and Kyle can be the statues. As the sculptor, I will give an action to show. When I say go, make a statue that shows an old man eating breakfast. And go. <laughs> oh, good job. You can see by Kyle's scrunched up face and his hunched over shoulders that he's an old man and the way he's holding a bowl and his spoon that he's eating something. Come on back to neutral for me, Kyle. Yep. All right, the next one we're gonna do, you're still going to be eating, but this time I want you to be a chicken. All right, ready and go. Woo. Oh. <laughs> Very good. You can see by the way Kyle is holding his body that he's not human anymore. He's got his arms up like they're wings and his knees bent like they're chicken legs. And he's kind of holding his face to show that maybe he's got a beak. So come on back to neutral for me, Kyle. Let's do one more. This time, you're a hailstone falling from the sky. All right, and this time, Miss Tori, I think I'll do this one from my chair. All right, great. And ready, and go. Good job. We can tell by the way Kyle has his hands bunched up and his 
facial expressions that he's very strong and powerful, like a hailstone. All right, come on back to neutral, Kyle. Great job. Thank you. Now that we've practiced our statues, try it with your classmates. When playing, most of you can play statues. Just don't forget to figure out who will be the sculptor. It might even help to come up with a few prompts ahead of time. What characters or actions could you suggest? If you choose to play moving statues, choose a visitor to walk through the statues. The statues can continue to move, but try not to get caught by the visitor. Be sneaky and, and have, have fun. fun.